Okay, like, does anyone else like these sunglasses? Because I am loving these sunglasses, and I got them a couple days ago, and let me tell you, I really like them. Okay, no sunglasses on inside. That's not right. Oops. Hi, guys. I'm Mac, um, and I have made an executive decision with myself instead of filming like when I want to or not necessarily when I want to but editing when I want to and doing all that stuff when I want to I'll procrastinate and lay in bed forever so I have decided to start making videos once a week um, and they're gonna be every Wednesday don't know what time they're gonna upload but they're gonna upload on Wednesdays so that's a start um anyways so Today I am going to be reading you something that I wrote. Um, it's a bit of spoken word. Uh, I've never read any of my spoken word or any poetry in front of people. I've read the stories that I've written in front of people, but other than that, I haven't. I've put them online um, on places for people to see, but this one has not been released to the public at all. Okay, had some technical difficulties, but anyways. Um, so yeah, I took to my friends on Snapchat to ask them, you know, what kind of video I should film uh, and what do they want to see, and there was only one request, and I didn't really want to do that video. <laughs> um, uh, anyways, so basically nobody else cared enough, so I decided what, it, what else am I going to do except show you guys and share with you guys the things that I love and the things that I enjoy and that make me happy. Um, anyways, so I guess let's get on with it. Um, bef phone fell. Before I read this, I want to put a little disclaimer on this. Um, this is a very real thing that I stand by and I wrote everything that I feel so, yeah, I'm kind of nervous. I've never, I've only shared this with family and one really close friend. And I've been told I should do it at my school's talent shows. I should publish it. So this is for the people who wanted it published or wanted to see it. So thank you for that. And I guess here we go. This is entitled, Society. I am tired of society. Tired of society telling us to be different. Tired of society telling us to be normal. Here's an idea. Why don't we just burn the labels and be us? Not different, not normal, just us. But you see, we can't do that. We can't do that because society has given birth to a new generation. A generation of influence. A generation where everything counts. A generation of technology. And of course, you can make the argument that we can put the phones down, or that there is always an off switch, or that we can even delete the account. But the thing you seem to not understand is that there is no more deleting the accounts. There is no more off switch, and there is no more putting the phones down because society has turned us merely into a group of spineless robots. And I am tired of everyone being cast under the spell of this okay to not be okay. No, it's not. It's not okay that teens decide their life is no longer worth living. It's not okay that teens decide to slice their wrists open like a bloody bear steak. It's not okay that teens decide that they are worthless before anyone is given the chance to prove that they're not. And I am tired of society telling us all that depression is normal when it's not. I am tired of society over-diagnosing depression because suddenly every kid that feels down for a two-week period has a chemical imbalance in their brain and is depressed. I am tired of society allowing depression to be romanticized because because suddenly it's this thing that every kid has to go through to truly understand the ways of life. And I am tired of the truly depressed kids who were too crippled to get out of bed this morning, have friends that say it's okay, or that they understand, or that they have the audacity to say that it gets better when with the thing that they don't realize is that it doesn't get better, but we just learn how to deal with it. And I'm tired of the other kids who have the audacity to say that depressed kids are asking for attention, or that we won't really kill ourselves. Oh, really? Tell that to Amanda Todd, the girl who felt worthless, or Olivia Penprace, the girl who was tired of feeling empty, or Frankie Rodriguez, who everyone loved but secretly he wanted his life to end. Tell them. Tell those kids that they were just asking for attention. I am tired of society grabbing our youth by the neck and jerking us around 
like a rag doll and I will not stand for it any longer. So to you, society, I say enough is enough. To you, society, I say I am stronger than this. And to you, society, I say we are all stronger than this. And lastly, to you, society, I say watch out because there will come a day when we will rise above you. So until then, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have no idea how long it took me to actually get that entire thing out. I'm sorry if I end up having to do jump cuts and have to cut the whole thing up and it's not going to be one take. I took an hour to try to get it down and really let it set in and just be able to do it all in one take. But every time I did it, I messed up. So hopefully there's not too many mess ups in the take that I choose to use. Um, yeah. That was my spoken word. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.